Welcome back everybody, this is Awaze, back with the next video of Bootstrap Essential Training Series. So we have so far covered the CSS part of Bootstrap and getting started with Bootstrap. Now I think it's time for us to look at some JavaScript components available in Bootstrap. So the most common one we use from Bootstrap JavaScript component is Carousel. So right now on the page you can see here I have this carousel so I can scroll through all the images available in this carousel. So this is what we're going to learn in this video. So let's get started. Now in this uh, gridsystem.html page I have this container coming from bootstrap. I have the class of row and the column. I'm going to refresh the page and now we're going to start working on carousel. Now I'm going to start with the div tag. So let's open a div. I'm going to give a class of carousel space slide. So there are two classes, carousel and slide, because we're making a carousel which is going to slide those images. Now, then we're going to have another attribute, which is a data write and is equal to, I'm going to set this to carousel. And now we can give an ID as well, but uh, we'll work on that in a second. But let's just finish that here. I'm going to close this div and inside that div, we're going to have another div, which is going to have a class of carousel inner. So let's just do that. Carousel dash inner. And then I'm going to give a role, which is going to be a list box. And let's close this div tag. I don't know why it took me to setting.json. I probably had a shortcut key there. And let's, I'm going to delete this line, which is an empty. Now we have these two classes, carousel space slide. And inside that, I have a class of carousel dash inner. So inside carousel dot inner class, we need to have different classes for different images. That class is going to be an item. So let's do that because we need to apply a class to the div tag. That's why we need to have a separate div for every image we put into our carousel. So let's just give a class is equal to, I'm going to give it a class of item and let's just close this. Inside that, we're going to add an image tag. So let's open an image tag, give a source, and this is coming from assets folder in our project. I'm going to give a 1.jpg and we can give an alternative text as well which is going to be a picture picture 1 it's up to you whether you want to give it or not and I'm going to refresh the page and right now we don't see anything because we need to have another class of active now let's say we have five or six images one of them must be an active image right so let's just add a few more images first and then we give one of the class to an active class one of the image sorry and let's just come down paste like four times i think let's save it and now the first is 1.jpg i'm going to give it name 2.jpg 3 four five okay we can change the alternative text as well if you want to but it wouldn't really matter i'm actually just gonna do it so okay so we have five div tags inside them we have different images now let's refresh the page and there you go we don't have anything yet because we didn't add an active class so here i'm going to type an active make it active let's refresh the page and there we go we have the image number one right now this image should slide after five seconds because by default carousel gets slide after five seconds we will work on that in javascript in a second but now let's add our chevrons on both sides so they usually go at the bottom so what i'm gonna do let's get out from this carousel in a class as you can see here, the image actually slided, right? So after that, we're gonna add chevron. So for the chevron, we can use an anchor tag and give a class of, let's just say, left space carousel dash control, okay? 
and then we need to have an ID for that to actually make them work because that's going to be a JavaScript working at the back, right? So for that, let's just uh, remove this and we're going to add a class on our carousel div tag. So I'm going to give an ID and let's just call it tutorial. Okay. So on the top, we have an ID tutorial. Now let's come down, open an A tag, give a class of left and then carol cell dash control class. And then we're going to use that ID by using the href tag, add and a hash and then type the ID. So this is the ID we're using tutorial and this is we are targeting now tutorial. Okay. And then we're going to have a role for this Chevron as well, which is going to be a button role. And then there's another attribute, a data slide is equal to, and let's say we're going to add a left Chevron. So what you want to do the, for the left Chevron, you want to just slide to the previ previous image, right? So what would you type here? Pre so basically at the back JavaScript is on work and let's just close this close your anchor tag inside our anchor tag. Now we're going to add a chevron. So we can do that by using a span tag. So span, I'm going to give a class of glyphicon chevron and uh, that's going to be left. Okay, so if you're not sure what's going on here, basically I'm using a bootstrap icons which are available here. Let me show you the component. So as you can see, these are all icons we can use. So I am using this uh, glyphicon space glyphicon dash chevron dash left to slide our images to the left. Okay, let's go back to the page and then let's just uh, close our tag or we can just give it area dash hidden and I'm going to set this to true as well and then let's just close our span tag. One more thing I want to add here, I've already explained this so oops class space and sr dash only and then we just say preview well, this is going to show up if our image or Chevron doesn't show up. I've already explained this so I'm going to copy this and let's just give it space actually and then here we're going to change this to right control okay and for the chevron we need to use the right chevron now let's save it and here for the data slide we have the left chevron which is going to slide over image to the previous image and this is going to slide over image to the next so here we type next let's save the file i'm going to refresh it and there you go. So we got two Chevron, one it on right, one at the left. So if I click on this right one, it will slide to the next image. This will work for the previous images. Okay, so we have the Chevron done. Now, one more thing we can add here. It's going to be, you know, you see those uh, carousel with the dots here, where you can click on them to get to the specific image. So we're gonna add that now. So let's, uh, do that here on the top. So I'm going to do with the on order list. I'm going to give a class of carousel dash indicators. That's another class we're using from Bootstrap. And inside of our on order list, I'm going to add a few list items. So list item is going to have a data target attribute and we can is equal to now we're going to add uh, a target is this tutorial id that's what we're going to target right so add a hash sign actually it's going to go inside our quotation mark double quotation add a hash and then type here tutorial then we have a data dash slide attribute dash two okay so we have how many images we have one two three four five images right so here we'll type the item number so let's just give a zero item and then i'm going to give a class here make it active this is going to be the first one right 
and then let's just uh, close li tag save it i'm gonna copy this and paste it a few times so let's just five times okay let's save it and now data tag is going to be the same but we need to change the data slide to attribute to different images so it's going to be one two three four and all of these are not going to have an active so let's just remove these ones I should have uh, copied this before I added this active class but it doesn't really matter we can actually remove them manually okay now it should work now let's refresh the page and there you go we got these uh, five circles here so if I click on this one it's gonna take me to the image number four if I click on this one it's gonna take me to image number two and number one right it's all sliding now we have pretty much covered the with the bootstrap and HTML now let's look at basically this is not a JavaScript course but I want to show you how you can change the sliding time which automatically slides in JavaScript so by default we have the interval time between images sliding is five seconds so we can override this by using our own JavaScript basically jQuery so I'm gonna basically delete this data right carousel attribute because this is what it's uh, actually changing our images after five seconds at the bottom you can see we haven't attached our own script.js file so we will just do that make sure you put it after bootstrap and jQuery file because we want to override those okay so let's type script slash script.js close script tag and now let's open script.js file and here we are going to start our jQuery and here uh, I mean it's not a jQuery tutorial because I'm actually not gonna explain what I'm doing here because this is jQuery so let's just type this okay so now we add this function so this is the jQuery version okay and then dot curl cell we open the function here and then inside that we can add a few attributes here first of all let's do interval I'm gonna refresh the page and right now it is not going to change because we have removed this uh, target right with which was carousel so that was changing this for five seconds so now I'm gonna do it manually so we type interval and then here we're gonna type in milliseconds so we want to change this to 1000 so that's going to be one second let's save this I'm going to refresh the page and it should slide after one second now as you can see it's sliding very fast now one more thing by default it does is if I hover over my mouse it is going to pause okay so it's going to pause that you can set that to false let's type comma here and then pause we set that to false save it and now we're going to refresh the page and even on hover over on the carousel it's still sliding all right so you can look at the javascript uh sorry bootstrap carousel documentation so i'm just going to show you guys so here we have this method okay so we can add interval, pause, wrap, and keyboard. So you can read these uh, methods and stuff like that. Okay, so you, you get an idea how to use them, right? All right, so that was a quick tutorial about uh, Bootstrap Carousel. And uh, yeah, I pretty much covered everything you need to know about Bootstrap, but there are a lot of components available. This course is going to be very long, but you can read and go to the documentation and learn and try to use them yourself because um, it's going to be a very long course if I try to cover everything. So this is basically a last video of Bootstrap. And uh, yeah, we pretty much covered the basics of uh, Bootstrap, like all of the 
the compulsory things you need to know to create a website with bootstraps such as grid system, navbar, jumbotron, thumbnail images and videos embedding. So all that stuff has been covered in this course. All right, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. And if you have any questions about Bootstrap, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next course. Cheers.